Okay, so what's up, Mobilitic Integrated School? What's happening? Okay, so I'm back again. This is Sir Jan at your service. I'm always happy to serve. Okay, so doon sa video natin na video tutorial on how to create a post or content sa ating blog site, which is yung composing. Okay, so ito naman po yung second way on how to a uh, on how to upload a uh, link or embed a uh, certain uh, file doon po sa ating uh, blog site. Okay, so hindi na po natin siya patatagalin. Okay, so let's go to Google Chrome. Okay, let's wait for a few seconds. Then, uh, tatanda lang po palagi natin is uh, paulit-ulit lang po yung process. Okay, so ulitin lang po natin. Itay po natin ang blogger.com click enter okay and then sign in after signing in okay let's click mobile integrated school let us wait for a few seconds okay so nandito na po ulit tayo sa ating working space okay so click po natin yung new post okay so ito na po yung ating uh, compose uh, page or interface Okay, so ito po yung sasabi ko. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa Compose. So, ang i-click po natin is the HTML. Okay, so pag mag embed po tayo ng certain file po dito sa ating uh, blog site. Okay, so yan. Click HTML. Okay, so yan. So, kung papapansin ninyo dito sa may HTML, so nabawasan na po yung ating options. Okay, so yan na lang po. Bold, Italic, uh, Strike Through, Link insert image tapos yung quote na lang po okay so yan so <clears throat> so bago ko makalimutan ano po so gagawin po natin dito is ihahang po muna natin ang konti so we are going to open another window okay so yan and then i-click po natin ito yung account dito so since nandito po ako sa akin personal account debit account so papalitan po natin siya i-click po natin siya para mapalitan po So, pupunta po tayo doon sa school account po. Click lang po natin. Okay. So, yan. So, nandito na po tayo sa may school account. And then, kung nakikita po natin yung ano, uh, tile po dito sa gilid ng mismong uh, profile uh, picture po ng ating uh, school email. Okay. So, i-click po natin yan yung Google Apps. Okay. So, lalabas po yung mga Google Apps natin. Okay. So, ito po yung account natin. Okay. So, hindi na po natin siya iisa-isahin. Okay, so pupunta po tayo doon sa ating Google Drive. Okay, so <clears throat> question, bakit po natin kailangang i-open ang ating Google Drive? Okay, so before po kasi nating ma-embed yung file doon sa mismong working space natin is first, we are going to upload the file dito po sa ating Google Drive para nang sa ganun ma-embed po natin siya. Okay, so para nang sa ganun makapag-upload po tayo sa ating Google Drive is Okay, so nandito na po tayo sa ating uh, mismong Google Drive. Loob po ng ating Google Drive. Okay, so i-click po natin yung New. Okay, so pagka-click po yung New, meron po tayo dyang options. Meron pong Folder, File Upload, or Folder Upload. Okay, so wag na po natin uh, papansinin yung Google Docs, Sheets, and Google Slides kasi hindi naman po yan yung concern natin. Okay, so since file lang naman po yung i-upload natin, so click po natin yung File Upload. Pero pag folder naman po yung i-upload natin is you are going to click folder upload. Pero pag gagawa po kayo ng folder sa mismong loob ng Google Drive ninyo is click yung folder. Which means you are going to create a new folder inside your, your Google Drive. Okay, so click lang po natin yung file upload kasi file lang naman po yung i-upload natin. Okay, so click natin yung file upload. So pop-up window, nag-open po siya. <coughs> Nag-redirect po sa, tayo sa ating uh, PC. Okay, so... Ang ibig po sabihin niyan is hahanapin po natin yung file na gusto nating i-upload sa ating Google Drive. Okay, so since yung file na hinahanap po natin is nasa data, okay, so click natin po yung data D. Okay, so yan. So, baba po natin, scroll down, hanapin po natin. Naka-PDF po siya. So, kung matatanda nyo po doon sa previous uh, uh, tutorial or doon sa mismong uh, ating uh, quick tour na video, is nabanggit ko po doon is pag mag-upload po tayo or mag embed po tayo ng uh, file sa ating uh, blog site, okay, see to it na ito po ay scanned 
at converted into PDF. Okay, so yan po. Take note po. PDF. <clears throat> Especially pag meron po mga signatories diyan po, ano po, kailangan po yung naka-fix po yung kanilang signature. Okay. Pero pag sakali naman pong walang signatories, okay, so pwede naman na po nating i-upload mismo sa Google Drive natin yung mga Word file, Excel file, or PowerPoint file natin, even the publisher file natin. Okay, so yan, pwede po yan. Okay, so hanapin na po natin yung file na ating i-upload. Okay, so hanapin po natin. Actually, yung hinahanap po natin is yung sa God Senior Citizen uh, Accomplishment Report. Okay, so yan, hanapin natin. God Accomplishment Report natin. So, hinahanap po natin siya. So, parang hindi ko mahanap dito. Baka nandoon siguro sa desktop. Okay. So, yan. God accomplishment report. Okay. So, wala din. Hindi ko rin siya mahanap. Saan ko kaya siya hitinago? Okay. So, hanapin lang po natin. God accomplishment report. God accomplishment report. God accomplishment report. Hindi ko siya mahanap. Saan ko kaya siya ano, tinago? Okay, siguro search na lang natin. Okay, so hanapin na po muna natin. Okay, so let us minimize this one. Hanapin natin. Ah, okay. So, ito siya. Nasa Data D for Upload School Website. Okay, so yan. So, hanapin natin siya. Nasa Data D. <coughs> for upload school website okay so yes so nandito siya okay so balik po tayo doon sa google chrome okay so let us repeat the process new click natin yung file upload and then let's go to data d hanapin po natin for upload school website ito po siya and then ito po yung sasabi natin na file okay so let us click that and then okay so ulitin natin yung process okay so let us click that and then click natin yung open sa baba para mag Upload po tayo yan. So, uploading one item. Okay. So, hintayin po natin. Okay. So, yan. So, meaning to say, pag meron na po siyang check, yung meaning to say, successful na po na nakapag-upload tayo ng file. Okay. So, let us close that. Okay. So, hanapin po natin. Parang sa ganun, makita po natin dito na mag-show yung ating kaka-upload na file is you are going to refresh the window. Okay. So, yan. <coughs> Okay. So, pag sa pag-refresh po ng window, uh, simply just click F5. Okay. So, yung function 5 po sa, ano natin, sa keyboard po natin. Okay. So, yes. So, nakikita po natin, ito na po yung ating uh, accomplishment and liquidation report po ng ating God, Senior Citizens. Okay. So, double click po natin yan. <coughs> para makita po natin. So, yes. So, ito na po siya. Okay. So, let us scroll down. Okay. So, whoops. There was a problem loading your more pages. So, ibig sabihin, kasi medyo malaki po kasi siya, mad madami-dami po yung pages, kaya ano. But, it's, ano, okay, kasi wala pong problema dyan. Okay, so, dito po tayo ngayon, para sa ganun, makuha po natin yung kanyang uh, code or yung kanyang uh, link para ma-upload po natin sa blog site, is, <coughs> kailangan po natin mag-open ng another window. Okay, we're going to open this file into another window. Okay, so paano po yun? So, i-click lang po natin yung tatlong dots dito sa gilid. Click po natin yan. More actions. So, ibig sabihin. Isanapin po natin yung open in new window. Yan. So, meaning to say, nag-open siya ng another window. So, yan. So, nag-open siya. Wala pong nagbago. Okay, so ang gagawin po natin ngayon, paano na po natin siya i-embed. Okay, so tignan po natin. So, yan na po siya. Kompleto po yan. Dire-diretso. Hindi na po natin siya titingnan lahat. Okay, so click po ulit natin yung three dots. Okay, so makikita po natin dito sa may baba, meron po tayo nakikitang embed item. Okay, so i-click po natin yan. Okay, so yung nakikita po natin dito sa may paste HTML to embed in website, so ito yung kukunin po natin. Okay, so i-click lang po natin dyan yung cursor and then control A po natin para mag-highlight po lahat. And then, control C. Copy natin. And then, kuklose na po natin yan. Balik po tayo doon sa blogger. And then, kiklik po natin dito sa loob. Ipipaste natin. Control V. Yung mismong uh, HTML. 
na kinopya natin. Okay. So, next po natin is uh, itatype po natin yung title which is the Accomplishment and Liquidation Report. Accomplishment and Liquidation Liquidation Report God Senior Citizen Okay, so yan. So, yan yung ano natin title natin. And then, don't forget yung labeling. Okay, so yan. Hanapin po natin. Accomplishment. Okay. God. Yan. Senior citizen. Yan yung mga label natin. Uh, ano pa ba? Yung pwede nating piliin dyan. Okay. SGOD. Pala. Okay. SGOD. Okay. Type na lang natin dito para hindi na tayo na SGOD. What else? Alumni, annual implementation, programming for assignment, awards, recordings. Okay, CID, contact us, continuation, convocation, coordination, core values, downloadable, DRF, events, pending events yan, funding sources, gallery, hindi, kasi wala naman na pong picture. Pero pwede rin pa rin po kasi nandun sa may scan copy, may mga pictures po doon, kaya piliin lang po natin yung gallery. And then next is OSDS procurement PMP project C card project status PTA SDP school history school form okay so yan still the social media is PJ okay so yan na po so napili na po natin yung mga related or relevant na labels po para yan sa ating content okay so let's click done and then click po natin yung schedule. Okay, iyan tindi po natin kasi tapos sa po yan yung ating uh, God Senior Citizen. So, uh, check ko lang po saglit yung petcha na sinad sa akin ng ating uh, God Senior Citizen Coordinator which is noong November 12, 2019. Okay, so, iyan tindi natin. Balik. Backward tayo. Move backward. November okay 2019 that is 12 2019 okay so palitan po natin yung petsa gawin po natin 5 pm done okay so yan po so November 12 2019 5 pm naka petsa po yung ating God Senior Citizen so parang sa ganun ah uh, ma-update po yung ating uh, GAD. Okay. Next is, let us click save. And then, ngayon is we are going to preview the article or content natin. Okay. So, hintayin natin. Okay. So, preview. This is the accomplishment and liquidation report GAD senior citizen. Okay. So, ito na po yung sasabi ko sa inyo. Okay. So, kung papansin natin. Okay. So, Preview lang po yan. Okay, so click po natin. Okay, so next is we're going to save and then click publish. After publishing is hanapin na po natin yung pinost natin noong November 12. Okay, so nasa page 2 siya. Page 2, tignan natin. November. Okay, so wala din. Siguro nasa page 4. Okay. November 12. Okay, so ito siya. Okay, so November 12, 2019. Ito na po siya. Let us view. Okay, so yan. So, mapapasip po natin. God Senior uh, School Base. Uh, okay, so hindi po ito yun. Ano? Ito po yung mismong article para na-post na natin siya. Okay, so tignan natin yung ano, mismong embedded. Okay, so siguro sa 3. Okay, so ito siya. Okay, so let us view. Okay, so ito na po siya. Yan. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, na-scroll up and down po natin. Okay, so nakikita po natin, nandyan na po, na-upload na po natin yung mismong file, na-embed na po natin, dire-diretso yan. Okay, so bago open po yan, dire-diretso ang sa pinakadulong-dulo ng ating uh, file. Okay, so yan, dire-diretso, attendance sheet, nandyan na lahat. Okay, okay, the pictures, yan. Nandyan na rin, and then the, sample program and then the certificates okay so yan 
So, titignan natin doon sa baba yung ating mga labels. Yan. So, nandito, accomplishments, events, God, gallery, senior citizen, SGOD. And, posted noong November 12, 2019, Tuesday. Okay, so yan. So, ganun lang. As simple as that. Okay, so yun po yung second way on how to post or create a content doon po sa ating blog site which is the HTML or embedding an or embedding a HTML. Okay, so yung first po is composing a content. Okay, so yan po. Okay, so again, this is Sir at your service and always happy to serve. Keep safe everyone. Okay, safeguard yourself sa COVID-19. God bless us all.